Hey guys, I'm back and we are playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot going on in uh, COD, uh, Vanguard or anything like that. <clears throat> no push dagger, unlock challenge, nothing yet. Uh, so we're just going to continue Yakuza, possibly even tomorrow. Uh, just a heads up for those of you watching the CDL. Just remember the CDL is kicking off my tonight. Uh, and uh, there's viewership drops if you've linked your YouTube and your Activision account. Uh, so make sure you take part in that if you want the drops. I think uh, today is a calling card or an emblem or something. I'm not even totally sure. Uh, but yeah, watch uh, the allotted time to get your drops. And uh, that's all that's really gone on. So I was like, let's just continue Yakuza. Uh, so up there. I heard there's a really tough boss at the end of this chapter, chapter 7, so I'm kind of keen on trying it out. There's only one place to go in this town if you need reliable intel. Uh. The web where all the secrets of Ijincho get caught. Komiju. Komiju? Yeah. If someone really is trying to fuck with the Ijin 3's balance of power, that someone being Mabuchi, as you claim. There's no way the Komiju don't know about it. Information is what they trade in, it's practically their currency. Hmm. <sighs> He's right. Ijin Cho's got lots of people willing to sell secrets. And if you follow each secret long enough, they all end up in Komi Jewel. Yeah. I don't know how they do it, but whatever their system, the info is always 100% accurate. It's credible, really. Doesn't seem real. I'm not saying you have to use the Komi Jewel to find evidence of your Mabuchi theory. If you got other ideas, fine. Just prove to me that Mabuchi killed your boss. I'll let the captain here live until you return. Mm. By the way, don't even think about running. If so much as your pinky toe crosses the Ichincho border, the captain dies. And I still wouldn't be satisfied. So your friends and your family would be next. Wait, what the hell's with that? Don't argue, Sajan. These guys don't do logic or compassion. Honestly, I want an answer just as bad as you all do. If Mabuchi really has betrayed me, then my gang's gonna be split down the middle. Neither the Seiryu clan nor the Komi Jewel is gonna be thrilled about that. But that's why I need contingency plans. You see now? All the shit I gotta deal with. Man, I sure hope Mabuchi's innocent. But of course, then I have to kill you all. <laughs> Painfully. No complaints, I hope. <laughs> no need to be all giddy about it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go find proof that Mabuchi killed your soap landowner. Kasuga, I don't think we have a choice. <sighs> I know. You're probably aware, but the Komi Jewel don't fuck around. So be careful. Finding the evidence won't do any good if you're dead. You almost sound like you care. Kasago, we really gotta get moving. And fast. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yo. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourselves. Right. Oh. 
I, okay, I looked it up. Uh, this is how you pull up the mini map and it shows you what you need to see. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> okay, good enough. Uh, all right, I actually want to do some side quests in a little bit. So let's do that. Like a baby. Ooh. A nonsense moving, comforting low hum. Kicking back in a cold but comfy seat in complete and total darkness. Place is perfect when you need a nap. Yeah, I'll stop by again next time class is canceled. I don't remember anything about the movie though. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage film theater. Guess they only show old movies here. Yeah. We're not an inn, you know. Have a little respect, huh? Yeah, this is a classic, too. Hey, mister. Interested in watching a movie? We've got some classic titles in-house. Oh, well... Well, I also get kind of sleepy when I'm in the dark watching a movie I don't really understand. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's quite all right. But just because a film is old doesn't mean it's hard to follow. Old films span a whole range of genres, from sci-fi to romance, suspenseful thrillers to fun for the whole family. And of course, we have many titles are just as spectacular as the latest and the greatest, guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Huh. These were long before CG, which means things like real explosions on the set doesn't get much better than that. In fact, I'll say it's downright fresh. So much so that I'm confident you'll feel refreshed by the time the credits roll. All right, I'll bite. You must really love movies. Your eyes light up whenever you talk about them. <laughs> well, I didn't choose to be a curator of vintage films for nothing. I simply want nothing more than for people of today to watch these films and find some joy, even if it's just a little. It'd be a waste if they were left to be forgotten. Wouldn't you agree? But then, I suppose that's entertainment, an ever-fleeting sparkle. 
Though it would be fantastic if people saw these films as a brilliant little sparkle in their own lives. I get you. So that's why you opened up the theater. Correct. The Seagull Cinema is a place where anyone of any age can come to appreciate the classics. Though anyone also includes those who fall asleep during the screening. <laughs> Regardless, this is a good opportunity for you to get a taste of the classics for yourself. And since it's your first time, this one's on the house. Really? You sure? Quite. I'd like you to see all the good this place has to offer. Well, I'm already here, so I might as well. Excellent. Right this way, please. Today's showing is a monumental piece. Robocook. Half culinary drama, half gunslinging action masterpiece. I can watch this over and over again and never get tired of it. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna watch too? Of course. As a curator, I'm allowed to watch any film I want at any time I please. All right. Well, it's about to start. No sleeping during the screening now. We must show our utmost respect for those who brought these splendid works to life. I dare say that even blinking would be a waste of precious screening time. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Oh, shit. This place is weirdly comfy. Damn. Now I'm sleepy as hell. Oh, that guy was nice enough to let me in here. Don't fall asleep. I don't have a memory. 家族友も愛する者も分からないだがこれだけはっきりとわかる私は料理のために生きるのだ。I'm <笑> sleepy all of a sudden. What the fuck? I almost nodded off there. Whew, made it through. <laughs> Phew. 
殺両ギャラクシーエクストリームフランベイ Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Was awesome. Oh, it's just getting good. Awesome. Whew. At least I was able to stay awake. That was pretty good, though. Guess it doesn't matter how old it is. A good movie's a good movie. I probably would have gone my whole life without watching one of these if it wasn't for this place. This guy really wants everyone to enjoy the classics, huh? There's still a lot I haven't seen, so. I should come take a breather when I have time. Thanks for today, Mr. Curate. <sighs> oh, sure, respect the classics. <laughs> Let's actually go over here and deposit some of my money.
dear. That wasn't enough time. Huh? Excuse me. Do you need help crossing the street? Well, of sorts, yes. Looks to me like the signal changes pretty quick. Why don't I just carry you over? No, and while I do appreciate your kindness, that won't be necessary. Are you sure you're gonna be okay like that? I'll be fine. You see, I made the decision to walk with my own two feet until I'm dead and gone. Heck, I won't even get in a car unless I have to. Well, at least you're sticking to your guns. Yes, and that's why I intend to cross this street without any assistance. <laughs> okay, then if that's the case... No, oh, it's green. All right, Umeko. You can do this. Here we go. Uh. has it been now? Why don't you go to a different crosswalk? Maybe without a signal. If I did, that means that's a victory for this here crosswalk. And I can't let it win. Oh, I do wish these old legs of mine were quicker. Hmm. You know, I'd like to help, but... I'm fresh out of ideas. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about me, son. I just think I'll head home for the day. Oh. Bastard! Ugh. 
This could get rough. Hey Flacco, what's up? Yeah, not much going on in cards. So I'm Vanessa. gonna keep playing this game. Right. Beat. Go. Sup. Wow. Oh. Yeah. What's up, in cookie? What's my favorite food? Uh, of late, I've been really digging steaks and like burgers and all. Burgers is usually my favorite, but steaks are good too. Hey. 
ありがとう Here. I think there's an ATM there. But I like a lot of other stuff too. I, I got a lot of favorites. Like I like a lot of the Japanese food. Hold 
it together. Hold up. Take your best Let's shot. See. Watch I got this. Thanks, man, Flacco. Appreciate it. I don't get what's the point. Like, we have so much space for the inventory. What happens if we keep it? What's the point in not putting it in the box? And, uh, let us actually go main quest now. Come on now! 
Call that a drink? Give me a double shot this time. Sir, haven't you had enough? I think you should call it a day. I thought it was a bartender's job to give people their drinks. You're being unreasonable, sir. I'm only concerned for your health. You should at least have a sip of water. So you're cutting me off? Way to make a man feel unwanted. Sir, can you please calm down? You're causing a scene right now. Yo. Mind if I step in? Huh? Buddy, just take the water and chill. You'll feel a lot better. You know what? You all are a bunch of buzzkills. I'm taking my business elsewhere. The heck was his deal? He's not a regular, is he? He sort of is. It was actually Il Yu Jin, former Korean megastar. You didn't recognize him? Nah, unfortunately I can't begin to keep up with that stuff. Pretty crazy to run into somebody famous here of all places though. That's a first for me. Well, he's retired from the industry now. Got caught up in a scandal. He always had such a clean image too. But I guess fame changes people. Today wasn't even the worst I've seen him. Hope he's not causing trouble somewhere else. A former star, huh? You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Come on. 
Go. Nini, please don't sit there. Don't sit there. Go. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. 
Iya. Yeah. Yo!
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございましたありがとうございます。それでは。Okay.
それでは出発いたします。Hey.
Yeah. To my understanding, he wanted more money, so he went and socked the guy. There was a time that this was all the news talked about. No. The only reason he did that was to get his manager out of a jam. Wait. What's this about his manager? That producer he seemed to love so much actually tried to force himself on Il Yujin's manager. So in the heat of the moment, he did what he could to protect her. And to make sure she wasn't dragged into the spotlight, Il Yujin kept quiet. That's why. That's enough, Kasuga-san. Only the people involved need to know. Yeah, but... Wait, if your manager was a lady... Actually, I do know that producer had a terrible rep as a womanizer. And come to think of it, the whole fighting over money spiel was penned directly by him. Could that mean... You really did all that for your manager's sake? And you kept it a secret all this time? Even at the cost of your career? Suzuki-san, I will tell you this only once. Do not speak of this to anyone. I'm not gonna let some media clown track down my manager and ruin her life again. If something like that does happen, you will be the one who pays. You look at me like that, I can tell you're not bullshitting. You protected her all right. Looks like I'm the fraud here. Instead of doing proper research, I only swallowed up the hype. Some journalist I am. All right, I deleted the pictures. Not a single one remains. Good. Kasuga-san, you really helped me turn my life around. Thank you. What can I say? You're a star with staying power. Keep your chin up, guy. <laughs> I certainly will try. But I do have the weight of what I've done hanging over my shoulders. Neither the media nor Suzuki-san had it wrong. I hit one man and caused others grief. My first order of business is to own up to what I've done. Make things right. Only then can I aim to be how I once was. An actor who touched people's hearts. Huh. <sighs> Well, if that lady at the park is anyone to go by, I'd say you're off to a great start. <laughs> Maybe so. Here, why don't you have this? My way of saying thanks. What, what does that do? Well, I guess it's so long for now. See ya. What was that just now? Oh, nothing to worry about. I took a picture of Yusama's first step forward. Been a while since I posted about an actor not screwing up his life. Who knew it felt so good to support someone? So, rather than yet another scandal, how about I cook up something a little more uplifting? Oh? An actor's road to redemption. Il Yujin announces spectacular return to showbiz. Well, how's that sound? <laughs> Not bad at all. One of these days, I'll get him to give me an interview. Not about his past, but what he plans for the future. After seeing how different he is, even the most jaded critic would give him another chance. Got that right. Guess I'll leave the journalism to you, then. Dude, oddly emotional. Damn. Like, in a good way. Should've got me his autograph. <laughs> The, uh, that's one thing I like about these games. And I think this one will be the kimchi one. Let's do the kimchi. Let's go. 
go the other road so we don't initiate the... Get off my laptop, man. What's wrong, wrong with this you? Time she still can't cross? Uh, oh, I know I can do it. Somehow. Ma'am, are you still having trouble? Hmm? Oh, you're that young fella. Here's my dilemma. I can almost make it, but then the light starts flashing and I get cold feet. In my heyday, I was the star of the track team. Quick foot Ume, that's what they called me. <laughs> but now I'm just an old fossil who can't even cross the street. Oh, if only these legs still worked. Now I get where she's coming from. In her heart, she's still a star athlete. I bet this kimchi could give her the kick she needs. Maybe I should offer her some right before the signal changes. Granny, try putting a little of this in your mouth before the signal changes. Oh, now what is this? That's not kimchi, is it? It is. And I know it may sound bonkers, but this stuff will light a fire under your ass, no doubt. Ugh. Truthfully? I've got half a mind to shoo you away for suggesting I engage in such nonsense. But I've seen what a kind person you are. You're honest to a fault. And I do know you mean well. I'll trust you, young man. Awesome. Hot, 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 hot,
Danny, you finally crossed the street. That was sick, Granny. <laughs> I'm either crying from joy or how spicy that was. Either way, I could finally relive my glory days. And it's all thanks to you and that kimchi. But goodness, that was fiery stuff. Nearly burned me to ashes mid-run. <laughs> oh, hi. No, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. I'd say I'm more than just all right. I feel light and limber like never before. Where might I find more of this miraculous kimchi? Oh, uh, an older guy on Sakura Alley sells it. He might still be around. Is that right? I ought to spread word around the neighborhood association. Uh, make sure you warn everybody. I will certainly try. In any case, see you around. Good job, Granny. Glad it all worked out. I'm thinking that kimchi seller might want to know about what happened. Ja, komm hin. Was mit dem Mob all of a sudden? One order of Miracle Kimchi, please. Me too. Me three. Me four. Whoa, what the crap? He's swamped with customers now. Oh, you're the young man from last time. As you can see, my business took off out of nowhere. I'm raking it in right now. Yeah? Good to hear, man. But I'm puzzled as to how my kimchi suddenly got so popular. People keep asking whether it helps with running or romance. Would you know anything about that? Uh, good question. Uh, the important thing is, business is looking good. And I know people like the flavor, so I'm sure they'll be back for more. I sure hope you're right. Can I get some kimchi, please? Oops. <laughs> I guess I'll get out of your way. Don't want to hold up the line. Well, I encourage you to stop by again. I'll sell you kimchi anytime. Ooh, you're the gentleman from earlier. Hey there, lady from the crosswalk. Remember that kimchi you gave me? I went ahead and splurged on a huge batch. He gave me some extra as a bonus for buying so much. So would you care to join me? Ooh, sounds good. Don't mind if I do. It burns! <laughs> Now it's main quest time. Hmm? Adachi-san, are we already in Komi Jewel territory? Yep, we're on Komi Jewel turf now. Feels like we might get attacked any second, don't it? Don't say that. You're freaking me out. Hey, stop walking, guys. What? Um, who's that? <sighs> Sunglasses at night. Really? She's lucky she's hot. 
Yeah, with a body like that, who cares what she's wearing? You guys do realize you'd just be wallets on legs to a woman like that. I mean, you know, beauty always has a price tag. It's part of the appeal. Seriously? That's your logic? You know, I can hear all of you. Who is she? Is she with the Comey Jewel? How should I know? Let's just go ask her. Wait, Kasuga! Hey, how's it going? My name's... <laughs> Well, if it isn't Ichiban Kasuga and his merry band, good evening. You know who we are? <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. You're, you're gonna have to explain that one. Guys, come on! She won't bite! So, I'm guessing you're with the Comey Jewel. Yep. This pretty lady didn't knife you, so you just trust her? Relax. Uh, now, ma'am, I think you know why we're here. You want evidence that Lao Ma killed the Soakwind owner. Or so I presume. So well informed. But do you have any? Probably. Come with me. This is easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Don't worry. Nobody that beautiful could be evil. If you don't start thinking with the right head, you're gonna get us all killed. This way. Keep following me. Hey, uh, funny thing. A while back, we actually, uh, got in a fight with a call mutual fella. Oh? We were helping out some bar owners that you were, you know, stealing electricity from. But isn't that all settled by now? Uh, is it? Oh, if so, great. <laughs> I guess it's all okay then. <laughs> Don't be so nervous. Huh? <laughs> not nervous? What? Do, do I seem nervous? No, you're fine. And besides, the jumpiness is a cute look on you. Well, you know, I, I, I do get that sometimes. <laughs> hey, let's all keep it in our pants, okay? <laughs> Ready? This place is pretty deserted, isn't it? Why haven't we seen anyone? Kasuga. Never been this far in. This is the heart of Komi Jewel territory. Yeah, I figured. Um. Should we turn back? Hey, what are you all whispering about? N nothing. We're just a chatty bunch. Is all. Hmm. <laughs> If you feel uncomfortable, you can turn back. I won't stop you. After coming this far? I don't think so. And you know we won't, so don't patronize us. Point taken. Let's pick up the pace, shall we? Fine with me. Hey, is this what they call a cat fight? If they start hissing, we'll know. this place. It's crazy. Kasuga, piece of trivia for you. In Korean, Komi Jewel translates to spider web. Oh, guess that makes sense. But what's the point of so many power lines? If you want to know, come and see the top floor. Just a cockroach. Don't scare us like that. Oh, sorry. Oh, the thing looked like it was from the freaking Jurassic period. 
Hey, we got bigger problems than the roach. What? Like what? Like how that woman's gone? What? Ichiban, you dumbass. Why'd you take your eyes off her? You did it too! Everyone, shut up and look over there. I saw someone. Crossbow? Go meet you little bastards. All of a sudden we're not welcome? What's up with the creepy masks? <laughs> now with the fists? And did you only have one crossbow bolt? All of you staying quiet? And I guess we'll talk it out the hard way. Yo. What's up? Yeah. Fun with 
this. I got Take you. Thanks, yo. Let's go. Jack. Should I open it? Got it! Two 
would actually be good for... Alright! How's that for crossing over? I'm just happy to be alive. I seriously thought I was dead. You guys didn't look up my skirt, did you? What, that's what you're concerned about? Hmm? Oh, nice.
There it is. Where the hell is it? Yeah. 
しきでスキンギョスだな。Should I open it? Sweet. Should I open it? Got it.
Should I open it? Sweet! Nothing. A bug flew into my ear. What kind of stupid thing. Go scare someone else. <sighs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Should I open it? Got it! <laughs> 